what's up guys i'm down at jp shop um i have been watching a lot of tim mccamus videos and he's really good at making me understand a four link and uh if you guys watch our videos you know that since we put the new engine in the car and we got the carburetor dialed in and it's making a lot of power that the car is pulling left and it's constantly kind of sucking us left it's not egregious i usually can drive myself out of it but um it's an issue with bracket racing. So sometimes it sets me down on the outside of the groove and I really have to drive it around. And uh, if the track isn't that good, lately I've had to abort runs. So we don't want that, especially when we're bracket racing. We've got a grudge race coming up and we don't want to be fighting the car. I've watched the Tim McCamus videos on four links and preload and negative preload. It's really helped me understand that the car has too much preload in it. So we've scaled the car. We got too much percentage on the right rear tire. So it's driving the car left. So I'm gonna pick the car up. We're gonna let the rear end hang, take the tires off. We're gonna take out probably two flats depending on how much is in it. Um, I'll probably get close to neutral and maybe even add some negative. I'm not sure, I don't know how much is in it. So we'll rescale it afterward. And I also have some uh, secret sauce here. I'm gonna reprep my tires and my tires are really old. I need a new set, but uh, it is what it is right now. The season's almost over, so um, we're going to make these work for the Twin Branch Open. In addition to that, guys, come see us at Twin Branch. I'm so excited. Um, it seems like it's just never going to get here. It's this Saturday. This video should go up uh, probably Friday sometime during the day. We will have merch there. We really invested a lot of money that we really didn't have into this merch to sell to you guys. So come and pick up some merch. Help us pay ourselves back and uh, support our channel. We really appreciate it. But let's get into this job here. All right, guys, I got my tires off. Um, this is the way that Tim McCamus says to do this. So uh, I'm trying to do my best to familiarize myself with four links as well. So this four link bar, these are older bars and they don't actually have flats. Usually there's a flat attached to the four link bar and then you have your jam nut. So I don't have that. So I put some marker tape here and I marked every flat uh, in accordance with the flat of this jam nut. So I'm gonna loosen these up and I'm gonna try and take out two flats, but uh, I'm gonna count as I go and count how many I go back to neutral and then I'm gonna go back uh, that way minus two. And uh, we'll see if this thing has any preload in it or if it's neutral or negative. I'm not really sure what it's got in it now. So i'm learning as i go here so if you guys see something i'm doing wrong you know it's probably too late but just put it in the comments it is what it is goodness gracious well i guess that answers that this thing's probably not been moved in a long long time and um, it might be corroded but also the rear end is bound up so that tells me it's probably got way too much preload in it because I can't even turn that we're gonna have to put a wrench on it all right guys welcome back to Mountain State UTV and racing stuff and plumbing how about everybody just pretend that they don't see me putting a pipe wrench on my four link bar right now it is what it is I got to get this thing broke loose and it looks based on the evidence that this has been done before to this four link bar, which is probably why it's bound up. Okay, so that's neutral right there. We got neutral, which I'm happy I found that. So, that's honestly about what I wanted to take out, is two. So I'm gonna put it right on the edge of the neutral line there, and then both my himes are facing the one direction, which is what he said to do. Pretty much I took out two flats. So neutral, I'll put it up against neutral, and then we're gonna jam it back up and uh, 
I think that's gonna work for us. If it doesn't, if I go to twin branch and the car goes right, I'll jack the thing up, we'll unjam it, and we'll do this again. It's not a hard fix, and you can do it with the tires on it, so it shouldn't be a difficult thing. All right, y'all, if you got any uh, old fart friends, Sorry, that's an affectionate term, by the way. Uh, old school trick to bring slicks back. Like I said, mine are very old. Good old WD-40. Um, I've done this before. These slicks are old, and uh, I'm not gonna put a year on them, but just trust me that they're very old. And uh, when we bought this car, I soaked these things in WD-40, sidewalls, bottom, everything, and it brought them back, and they work excellent. Well, they've worked excellent. Um, I, they're definitely at the end of their life, not only tread wise, but sidewall wise and stickiness wise. But, um, we're trying to make them the last of the end of the year. So I'm going to soak them down. Uh, you can complain about it in the comments if you want to, but this is proven. So it is what it is. You guys are just going to have to get over it. guys I'm making a total mess but uh you can see how good WD-40 works on these tires like yeah my hands are already dirty but you can see what it does like these things are tacky and sticky whereas they were losing that I mean I don't know who invented WD-40 but they're a dang genius Johnny said it's even good for arthritis <laughs> the stuff works on everything these tires I mean, wear mark wise, my wear marks are about gone, but uh, you can feel they're literally sticky. Like, yeah, they're st sticky again. So we'll bring some life back. These tires are toast. It's about the end of the season. We're going to make them last till the winter time, and I'm going to try to get me some tires in to replace them. But for Twin Branch, old WD 40 is going to bring us back to life. All right, guys, so I got a situation here. Um, these tires have come back beautifully. And they're very sticky, and uh, they feel really good. But like I said earlier, we're at the end of our life with these tires, and I found this. So that is a cord showing, and that is not good, especially on a slick. So um, I've contacted Poskies and... Uh, we really don't have the money to buy slicks right now, and the race is in a couple days. So Todd at Poskies is trying to get a set of tires exactly like these on a truck to arrive tomorrow. And I have uh, consulted with my wife, and we're going to try to make it happen, but I'm waiting on a call back to see if they can get them to us. So if they can get them to us, uh, we'll go ahead and get them and get them mounted. And we'll have brand new tires for a twin branch. If they can't get them to us, we'll be up the creek. And uh, I'll probably limit how many times I go down the track. So we'll see. And uh, it's just a waiting game now, waiting on a phone call. One eternity later. All right, holy smokes, y'all. I have been calling everyone. I went ahead and WD'd both my tires and the tires look beautiful, except for that one little spot with cords hanging out. And um, I talked to JP and he said, you know, the tire's not gonna come apart. It's not to that stage, and uh, but it might not stick. And this is a brand new concrete surface. So there's no rubber down at Twin Branch and it could be really sketchy. So I've been going through the ringer trying to get tires for literally tomorrow to get them mounted, get the car loaded up, we're gonna scale it, that's it. We'll never have one, not even one pass on these tires, on the new tires. So if I had to, I was gonna use these, but I've called Jags on 11th Avenue, I was gonna drive there, 
and pick these things up if they had them. They didn't have anything. I called Larry Lodge in Illinois just to, as a Hail Mary. He wasn't able to get me anything. And uh, I talked to Poshkies in Parkersburg. It's a local place. And uh, Dave Poshkies. And they went through the ringer. They called Hoosier. And they have got a set of tires in my exact size on a truck coming. And they should be there by noon tomorrow. So I'm really excited. I Listen, I need y'all to buy some merch because I just spent a lot of money that I really don't have on tires. So uh, maybe help us out, buy a dang hoodie. <laughs> I'm going to be eating ramen noodles for the next little while. But um, there's supposed to be tires on the way. I'm nervous and excited. Last resort, I'll run these tires. But I th it looks like we got tires coming. So come see us at Twin Branch. Um, we're super excited to be there and uh, hopefully you'll walk up to the car and see a brand new set of tires on it but we're gonna be there sending it anyway so all right guys I thought I was ending this video off but actually we went up and tried to cut some grass at Twin Branch we got rained on a lot but I'm gonna forward you to that moment so here we go here at the Twin Branch Motorsports Park. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. But as usual, when I come up here, it uh, was not supposed to rain, but it started raining. But it stopped now. The grass is a little wet, but Nana's over here. She's on a Z-turn. Pappy's over here. He's on a Z-turn. And uh, we got some leaf blowers, weed eaters, and uh, loppers. We're gonna clean up the mess a little bit. Uh, we got some big rocks laying in the field. I'm gonna try to pick some of those up, stack them up, get the grass cut. We are in preparation for this weekend, Saturday the 22nd. Uh, everything is a go. The weather looks okay as of now, and uh, I'm excited. So, like I've said, we're gonna be roughing it this first few events, maybe even this first year. Uh, the parking lot is in rough shape, but uh, it looks like he's got some gravel up here and uh the more people come up here and support the more we can put back into this track i say we it's thomas i'm just up here helping the best i can with promotion and uh getting the word out so a lot of people i guess have watched our videos and thought that this was our track and it's not it's not my track <laughs> but it is our home track especially for right now um we have something here in west virginia so we're gonna try to get some work done just stick with us and then if i get any updates from thomas i'll let you guys know pouring the rain up here at Twin Branch. Uh, me and my mom and dad came up. Sorry, I'm soaking wet. Sorry, me and my mom and dad came up and uh, we cut a lot of grass literally as the rain was pouring just because we're trying to help out and make this place a little bit more presentable before Saturday. Um, the grass isn't tall, you can definitely park on it, but we wanted to just make it look as good as we could. Um, other than that, I don't really have an update. Looks like he's got his little temporary tower suspended over there. Um, he's got some uh, gravel laid out here. You probably can't hardly see it because of the rain. I'm on the route from the return road now to the lanes, so it's not that bad. Uh, it's graveled pretty decent, drug out pretty decent. Uh, not sure what he's doing with the mining belt here if he intends on the race cars driving on that to smooth it out or if that's a walkway I'm honestly not sure what the, the plan is there but either way it's fine um, there's no huge craters that we're gonna get stuck in or damage the race cars or anything um, the, this is the parking area 
for just general parking, I would say, out here, or overflow parking. There's also the other side of the track, which is all grass. That'd probably be ideal. But overflow and trailers and all that stuff that we don't have room for, they'll probably go out here. It is kind of rough, but like I said, guys, uh, we're roughing it until some uh, some revenue comes in and helps us out up here. Sorry for the boring video. I honestly will debate on even posting this. <laughs> But uh, if you are watching, thank you guys for watching. Come up, support the Twin Branch track. We will have my trailer up there at, with the merch in it. You'll see my huge logo on the side of the trailer. Come by, get you a hoodie, a t-shirt, a sticker, or something, support the channel, and help us keep growing. And uh, we do have some big news, potential big news coming up, and we really can't wait to break it, but we're gonna hold off. So if you guys are fans of West Virginia drag racing, Subscribe to the channel, keep yourself updated, and uh, like I said, big news coming, but we're holding off. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.